Hey, what's going on? It's Dan Mamori of the Raz and Mocha Show here at the BioSteel Center watching the Raptors practice ahead of the new season. We'll talk to them, tell them some Raptors jokes, maybe they'll laugh, and see if they're ready to entertain you once again. These guys are tall. If we stand back to back, how like how much taller are you of me? Can I first say, this guy smells really good. What are you wearing? You smell good, which you should be smelling like sweat, but you smell like fragrance. I'm up to your what? My armpit. Oh. Small man. If only this was scratch and sniff television. When you come back after a break to the new season, do you have butterflies in your stomach? Like, are there back to school jitters at all? Oh, uh, not really. You know, this is year 11 for me, but it's just an exciting time to get back on the floor and be with your team and, and then get back to work. You're always, you know, anxious, excited, you know, feeling a whole bunch of, you know, emotions when, you know, that first game's coming around the corner. Get anxious, you know, just get back on a, on a mission that doing something you love to do. If you could change something about you from last season to this season, what is something you want to change about yourself? I want to start off this year the way that I finished last year and just build on that. You know, I'm just willing to learn. Still a young player, you know, I'm still learning. Be me, but just be more mature uh, emotionally, physically, you know, spiritually to the game. Just working on my outside shot, so just getting better at that. I don't know what that means. Uh, Three-pointer, you know what that means, right? A little bit. All right, sounds good. Well, three-pointer for all the people that know that what that means out there. When you're as rich as you are, how much cash do you carry around with you at all times? Uh, $20. $28? 20 yeah, $28. Uh, I carry no cash for everybody outside looking at, you know, looking at this video like, oh, how much cash you got? No cash. $28. I do not carry cash. It's all credit cards. What's your limit? Thankfully, I have no limit. $28. Maybe a little bit, but you're not getting much if you try to pickpocket me. Not getting much. Last gift I bought myself was a pair of shoes that actually arrived in the mail yesterday. Which ones? Uh, they are the new Jordans. I think the 12s. Think oh, Mocha wants those. Mocha. See, everyone else just said they don't carry cash. It's just cards. $28. <laughs> Demar Derozan, can I tell you a couple of basketball jokes to see if I can brighten your day? All right. And if they're not funny, you don't have to laugh. Yeah, I won't. You ready to laugh, my friend? Uh, if it's gonna be funny. Why are basketball players messy eaters? I have no clue. They're always dribbling. Oh yeah. Uh, well. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Why was Cinderella thrown off the basketball team? Uh, she didn't have a shoe, I don't know. She ran away from the ball. It's clever. That's clever. But did she go to a ball? <laughs> you don't have to laugh if it's not funny. I'm trying to make you look good. <laughs> Why do basketball players love cookies? I don't know. Love cookies? I have, I have, I have no idea. Uh, because they can dunk them. Uh. That was okay. That was okay. <laughs> no, that wasn't one either. Dude, I spent all day on this. Uh, you gotta be more creative. You know, I wouldn't be a good person if I told you that was funny. This is true, and that's why we love you. And have you ever used basketball pickup lines to pick up the lady? Never. Can I give you one to use? Yeah. Okay. You can always say, if you were a basketball, I'd never pass because I want to keep you all to myself. Okay. Or if you were a basketball, uh, would you let me lay you up? Dirty? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it depends. It, it could be. <laughs> okay, maybe you should stick with radio, you know. Let's end on this. Uh, talk to the fans of Toronto. What do you want to say? Let's get them hyped for the new season. We love you guys. Uh, you know, we love the support. You guys energize us when we know our energy is feeling low. Man, we, we appreciate everything these guys, the fans do for us. And uh, we love them. We love them a lot. And we, we need them to keep supporting us and, and, and pushing us to the brink. We wouldn't be us without, without our fans. Our fans give us that, that energy, that motivation that we need on a daily basis to go out there and perform. We're going to do our best every single night on the court to represent the Toronto Raptors in the city of, in the city of Toronto. And not only the city, but the country of Canada to the best of our abilities. And we're going to have fun. We want you all to have fun. And let's get started. <laughs>